Then, oh citizens, do you mean to cease abusing our patience? How long is it that madness of your still to mock us? When is there to be an end of that unbridled uh, audacity of your swaggering about? As it does now, do not the mighty guards place on the Capitol Hill, do not the watch posts throughout the city, does not the alarm of the people and the union of all good men, does not the precaution taken of assembling the Senate in the most defensible place, do not the looks and the commencement of this vulnerable body here present have any effect upon you? Do you not feel that your plans are detected? Do you not see that your conspiracy is already arrested and rendered powerless by the knowledge which everyone here possesses of it? What is there that you did last night? What the night before? Where is it that you were? Who was there that you summoned to meet you? What design was there which was adopted by you, with which you think that any one of us is unacquainted. Shame on the age and its principles, the importance of learning history, so it does not repeat itself. The people are aware of past happenings, and yet history lives, lives, it comes even into the present. It takes a part in the public deliberations, it is watching and marking down the checking off for re-embarking on us. And we, gallant men that we are, think that we are doing our duty to the Republic if we keep out of the way of its fr frenzied attacks. You ought, oh history, long ago to have been led ex execution by commanded of the citizens, that destruction which you have been long plotting against us ought to have already fallen on your own head and not come back to repeat yet again what did not the most illustrious forefathers in their capacity of the private citizen put to death the mistakes written in history though but slightly undermining the continuous con constitution and shall we, who are the citizens, tolerate repeated history, openly desirous to destroy the whole world with fire, slaughter? For I pass over older instances, such as how the wars of the world, with their own hands, slew many people of the world when plotting a revolution in the state. There was once such virtue in the Republic, that brave men would repress mischievous citizens with several chastisement, the, the most bitter enemy, for we have a resolution of Senate, a formidable and authoritative decree against you. O oh, history, the wisdom of the Republic is not at fault nor the dignity of this central body. We, we alone, I say it openly, we the citizens are waiting on our duty. The Senate once passed a decree that history would be taught in schools. The teacher should take care that the history be taught daily. Not one night elapsed, there was put to death on some mere suspicion of dissatisfaction, terror, and wars, which had borne the most unblemished reputation for many generations, there was slain citizens and all their children by a like decree of the Senate, the safety of the Republic, was entrusted to the President, Donald Trump. Did not the vengeance of the Republic, did not ex execution overtake history, A tribune of the citizen without the delay of one single day, but we for these many centuries have been allowing the edge 
of the history's wrath to grow blunt as it were, for we are in possession of the similar decrees of the history, but we keep it locked up in the parchment, buried, I may say, in the sheath. And according to the decree, you ought, O history, to be put to death this instant. You live, and you live not to lay aside to the persist in your uh, odyssey, and to yet live again.